What's up guys? I'm Wes. You're watching Peace Parts. And in this episode, I'm putting that stuff on that and putting it in this. Hopefully. Alright, let's get to it. So I started off by taking the engine off of the stand that it's been sitting on and uh, then put down a piece of insulation and a board so that the engine could sit down flat uh, without damaging the oil pan. Uh, and then I got to work removing the rear main seal uh, because I figured I'd put a new one in there while I was at it. Uh, so to do that I just drove a screw in there and then pried and uh, kind of grabbed it with some pliers and was able to rip it out that way. Put the new one in and then uh, started looking at the pilot bushing Realized I'm probably not going to get it out, and uh, so then I would test fit in the trans there, making sure that's all good. Put on the, the uh, spacer plate, whatever, and uh, then got to work cleaning up the flywheel and installing that with some good old Loctite and a few Oogadugas. Then I uh, cleaned up the clutch, put that on there as well, Loctite again on the pressure plate, lined up the clutch disc there to make sure that the trans would go on smoothly, and then threw some grease on the trans and stab the trans on there and as you can see it went on really easily uh, then I looked the engine up to put the starter on realized that some of the bolts weren't quite the right length so I had to shuffle a few rounds but we were able to get everything tightened down just fine and the engine's ready to go okay so uh, I got the trans bolted up to the engine uh, I used the clutch that was in the car because uh, I was told it was uh, pretty new before the car got parked basically and uh, it looked really good, so I cleaned it up, uh, put it in there. I wasn't able to get the pilot bushing out. The one that's in the crank is like the bearings are all gone, the inside race is gone, and it's like just the bare shell of the outside race left. And there's like nothing to grab onto to even try to pull it out. Uh, so I just put a little extra grease on the input shaft and uh, lined the clutch up as best as I could by eye stabbed it together and it went together really well like you guys just saw um so i'm just gonna send that and see what happens <laughs> i don't think it'll be too big of a deal but if it makes some noise or whatever then we know what the problem is so um got it pretty much ready to go i got the starter bolted up to it um the trans i put a new output shaft seal in it because the old one was kind of cracked i put a new rear main seal in the engine and uh that's about it for all the uh, seals and stuff. So <laughs> now comes the fun part, and it's probably not going to be very fun or pretty or graceful or anything even remotely close to that. But hopefully you will see me putting this into there. So let's give it a shot. Okay, so this is actually all you get to see. It ends right about here. I uh, had some issues when I was transferring the files and lost literally the rest of that footage, uh, which is kind of the most important footage of this whole video. Um, so I decided I would go ahead and just attempt to recreate it for you. Obviously I'm not going to pull the engine all the way back out and stab it back in there, but I figured I could do the next best thing, which is this. Alright, so hopefully that was better than nothing. Uh, I do apologize, but the engine is now installed and I wanted to make a video on it at least. So, that's what you get. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. And there she is. It wasn't really too bad. Um, I did kind of fight with it a little bit. I readjusted my angle. I don't have a load leveler, so I just put a bolt in the chain to keep it from going too far one way and you know kind of putting it at the right angle and the first time I guess kind of wrong the second time I got it pretty close um and I did have to kind of finagle it a little bit but it it, it did go in the one major bummer is that I crammed my valve cover into the firewall a few times there and uh, chipped all my nice beautiful paint that I did on there so that's kind of a bummer but it's uh so awesome to see it in there uh been sitting on the stand for forever and i've been waiting to see it what it would look like in the engine bay and uh here it is so <laughs> uh one thing i wasn't really expecting 
uh, to have a problem with is that the intake sits up a little high and uh, the hood won't exactly clear. <laughs> Maybe if I take that center rib out, it might fit, but uh, that's a problem for another day, really. <laughs> My main goal today was to get the engine and trans into the car and uh, bolt it onto the motor mats at least. I don't have the trans cross member. I think it might still be at my parents' house. I don't quite remember. <laughs> but um, I did get the two motor mounts bolted up. There's one bolt right there and another one on the exact same exact same way on the other side. And uh, I was able to get both of those bolted in. Uh, I didn't tighten them down yet, but that that's okay. The engine is at least sitting in there sturdy for now. Uh, I got a jack. You can see it right there. A uh, jack underneath the back of the trans to keep it. Uh, at the right angle there, but yeah, there she is, and uh, I'm gonna have to double check. Uh, I have that header, and when we pulled the engine, I don't think you could pull that without pulling the engine out. So I might uh, see if I can chop off that pipe there. There's a clamp right there, and I don't know what's going on there. So I might clamp off or take off that pipe and see if I can shove it in there through there uh, as it is now. But uh, yeah. We will get to that when we get to that, I guess. <laughs> but there we go. Engine is in the car. And like I said, that's pretty much all I wanted to get done today. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.